Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Well, it's President's Week, and it's also George Washington's birthday. So in honor of that occasion, I thought we'd draw a cartoon version of our first president and founding father. Today's version comes from The Simpsons, where George has made numerous appearances. He's deceased in most of them. He's also appeared as a zombie and a robot. Oh, and he also beats up the founder of the town of Springfield, Jedediah Springfield, using his false teeth. <laughs> Anyway, and as an added surprise, on Friday, we'll be drawing the Simpsons version of Abe Lincoln, so look for that one, okay? Before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow, and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson, all right? So let's draw the Simpsons version of our birthday boy, George Washington. We're going to draw our Simpsons version of Washington step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. GW is four heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is four of those. Okay, so let's draw the roadmap for George Washington. So there's our roadmap for a Simpsons version of Old George. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put some of Washington's features. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Okay, so let's rough out the features of our Simpsons version of George Washington.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features of George Washington. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of the first president, Simpson style. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. You want to always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for George Washington. And that's how you do it. There he is, the birthday boy, our Simpsons version of George Washington. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn any version of George Washington before, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You notice I don't spend time coloring George during this video because I want my lessons to focus solely on the drawing process. But now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing the Simpsons version of George Washington. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your drawing of George Washington. If you can, post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe, and remember to tune in Friday when we draw the Simpsons version of Abe Lincoln. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.